Welcome to Cure Aquatics and Exotics. My name's Susie and today I'm going to go head out and get axolotls for my girlfriend. And we're going to be going to a store that I haven't been to in a little bit, but I go there quite frequently because not so local fish store. It's about 45 minutes away. But this is where I know the guy breeds axolotls. And that's where I got mine a couple years ago. So I'm going to go to the store where I get my axolotls and I'm going to be setting up my girlfriend's tank. So let's get started. So I started my day out on a quest to find an axolotl for my friend. I'm setting up a tank for her. Now there is a kind of a local fish store that I've gone to in the past where I know he breeds axolotls. So, but I did have to drive quite a bit of a ways and on the turnpike, but it was definitely worth it because there were some major changes when I got to the store. It looked all revamped, redone over. There were so many bioactive enclosures when I first walked in. Everything you could think of for supplies for it. Um, they had so many tropical plants and carnivorous plants. They had uh, enclosures. Oh, this one. Had some smaller plants that you can pick up. That looks like a 220 gallon bioactive. So let's walk around. I know exactly where the axolotls are, but I'm gonna see Cupid first. This is a store bird, not for sale, but she is a love bug. A pink breasted, or it's called a rose breasted cockatoo or a gala. This has got to be one of my favorite birds right here. But Cupid is not for sale. But I have talked to her and held her in the past and she is a lovey dove. So I know exactly where the axolotls are, but I'm gonna take my time and look at everything first. Because there were so many things and there's some mammals here so many things have changed that I was like wow and I mean I've been in this store off and on for the last five six years and I there's a lot of changes so something's going on so I'm always looking for a good cat box my enclosures to the right were pond stuff. Oh, now it's reptiles. It's reptile hides. Food. Food for my gecko. My crested gecko. I'll have to pick up some food. Look at these enclosures. So they must have moved the pond area. I will find it. And this is the front of the store. Oh, little hermit crabs. Wow. Such a great selection. Definitely, definitely worth the drive. Prices are great. Stores clean. Customer service is A1. It's cool grounds. Did I say the name of the store yet? Fins, Feathers, Paws, and Claws. There's two nearby. This one is in Harleysville, Pennsylvania. There's another one in Quaker Town. So I gotta go back out front. And each one of these enclosures, not only is there everything here to set one up yourself, these are all for sale as is, already set up. I had to really think about some of these, let me tell you. Beautiful. Very well done. I'm looking for the little poison dart frogs. Gotta be here.
so many beautiful plants. Orchids. Look at the little beardy. Hey, beardy. So humid inside, it was great. There's air plants, very well set up. Got the ferns, Fetonia, Thalia, moss. Look at everything. You could buy this as is. Look at that beautiful Jackson chameleon. <laughs> I just love the way they are set up. That fern. There's poison dart frogs. I think I'm gonna set up a large poison dart frog frog enclosure. Frog. Yeah, they had a lot of plants. Like plants, fish. Oh. There are some axolotls, but not all of them yet. So I had to go up and down the fish aisle, of course. And look at their, they had live bearers, they had platys, variatus, they had goldfish, they had discus. And here's some reptiles. They had bearded dragons, leopard geckos, snakes, tortoises, spiders. <laughs> they had spiders. Little tree frogs. Hog nose. I want a western hog nose. Let's see if they got that. Great. Anaconda hog nose. Oh, what beautiful. This is my dream snake. Not the anaconda. I want an albino western hogs. Western hog nose, baby. Of course, I couldn't see her. John would kill me if I got a snake. I like the setup. And I do want to, like, bling out this tank for her. So I have to figure out. Now oh, here's the palm stuff. Oh my gosh. The air system. So down this aisle, what do we have here? Oh, this is the cichlid aisle. Okay. We got some Bashirs, parrots, polar blue parrot. And, oh, look at this lemon Oscar. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a hard one not to get. Beautiful lemon Oscar, look at that. <laughs> I knew this was going to be tough. I wonder if they have any Bouchardis. Frontosis. I like the frontosis. I have some frontosis. Some more. Oh. This it looks like he's angry at me. Are you angry, Oscar? Or are you just hungry? Cutie pie. I'm gonna have to go back and look at that lemon Oscar and make some decisions. Aww, hey bud. Oh, they even have some bioactive enclosures set up back here. I think this is a 220 also. Yep, and Jackson Chameleon, see him right there with the three horns? Oh, gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. Coming up another aisle of the uh, cichlids. Beautiful. There's a 
reptiles. Oh, we got another Isle of Fish before I get to the axolotls. So there used to be a huge tank here, but we did some rearranging. We got some live birds, we got some rainbows. I bet you this is where all the tetras and barbs and find anything unusual. I like unusual. That's weird. But like a sunset karami with a blue back? What? I hope it's not injected. I'm making it die. It's pretty, but... Large tanks with small fish. Lots of plants and shrimp. Oh, look at this. Oh, a little gecko. Look at a little crusty gecko. Little baby. I got a refrigeration for the worms and stuff too. There's the axolotls. We're coming up on them. They had so many different morphs. He breeds his own axolotls. So let's see what we got. Oh, we got a lot of the wild type. Oh, the GFP leucistic ones. They had that uh, like injection into now it's genetic. It comes in the breeding. These are albinos. Wild type. Ooh. Wild type with the crazy eyes. Not there though. Not oh, regular leucistic. Oh, look at these wild type. Beautiful. Uh, I gotta call my girlfriend and see which ones she wants. Gonna let her pick. I really like the wild type. But these. These leucistic, they, they, I like that. Look at that face. Oh my gosh, I forgot how tiny they were. All right, I'm going to have to call her. I'm going to text her and see. Oh, I like the, the wild type all the way in the back there with the green eyes. Yep. Freckles. That's what I would call them if I got that one. Freckles. I really like this one though. I'm going to text her. The different pictures of the different morphs. And I'm going to let her pick out. But of course, I'm going to have to tell her, you know, which ones are my favorite. <laughs> oh, this is like a melanistic. This is a black axolotl. I think that's the one I'm, ah, it's, it's so torn between this one and the leucistic. I really like this one. These are beautiful creatures. Now I do have several videos about the axolotls, where they come from their standing is in the wild. I'll put a link up here to that. The demon eyed melanistic. This is the dark one with the bright green eyes. I gotta get the light hitting them right. And I've also done a couple video. Oh look at those eyes. That's it. That's it. I've also done a video on cleaning out an axolotl tank. I was doing an instructional for my daughter, so I'll put the link up there. Okay, these GFP leucistics, I'm gonna tell her are my favorites, so they're one I wanna get. Made my mind up. Even if she doesn't want one of these, I'm gonna get one of these, and I'll get her whatever she wants. 
her girlfriend is uh, getting this for her for Christmas, but she knows I'm making her a tank. So I'm going to let her decide, but these are the ones I like. Leucistic GFP. GFP Leucistic. They're hatched March 8th. Wow. These are albino. I, I'm a little creeped out with the albino eyes. I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of people that love the albinos. Wild type. Got a soft spot for the wild type. I'll just send her all the pictures and let her decide. She hasn't answered me yet. Black eyed Lucy. That's a Lucistic. Somebody to choose from. When I got my first axolotls, they were just babies that were hatched, and he made sure to grow them out for me before I picked them up. So I did find out why there's so many bioactive enclosures, and the whole store has been revamped and moved around. Um, the owner's daughter came back. She'd been in Florida for, I forget what she said, like eight or ten years. But she's come back to help the parents out with the store. And she has made all these bioactive enclosures, and I think she's done an amazing job. Her name is Chrissy. I will definitely be back to the store because there's so much fun stuff to get here. Tupperware here because I forgot to chlorinate her and we're just gonna let the chlorine we're just gonna let that water sit for a day or two. Everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I got a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Na na, hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, so come along with me. Said I'm Susie Q.